Hello everybody. I wanted to share some stuff I did today. Um, well actually last night, but I'm putting it away now. Um, this is me cleaning up. So I had a, a junk drawer situation where everything that I had was like in a drawer and it was really hard to tell what kind of charms and beads that I had. And I used them fairly often. So I got this box. It's kind of cool. Um, it actually has several compartments so this is like the first floor and then it has two smaller compartments so I decided to put the two smaller part compartments in my desk drawer which I'll show you in a minute and just to keep the bigger apartment compartments for beads so I guess I should say beads and charms because in this box right now let's see if I bring it even a little closer you can see that there's some crystals um, there's some beads, there's some word charms. I tried to put it by color, so here's all of the charms that I have that are, you know, that kind of silver color. And, and I found out that I have more than I thought I did, and I'm glad I did this because I can see that I don't need any more silver charms, probably. Uh, a cute little pair of glasses. What else we got here? Oh, it's a little bit late for that one. See, when you don't know what you have, you don't use it. This is a Santa. That's over. So here's a brush. It's a cute little brush. And you know what? These are accumulated over time. So it's interesting that I don't know where I got most of these. So anyway... I, I try to get them all in this little container in the sense where that they're in a in a compartment by color. So those are silver charms versus these um, look how few brass. I guess what is this called? Copper, brass, whatever it is. I don't have it. I have three. So next time I go shopping for charms, I'll try to get some more in that color. And then I have some gold charms. I really found this cool dragon. I don't know why I have it. Um, but I apparently have several, several of those cool dragons. Um, I have a couple of fleur-de-lis, dragonflies, I love this little heart, I love my cat. I have some of those in silver too, somehow. And then in here is kind of like, you know, metallic leaves and flowers. I think they go great with any steampunk kind of design. And then in here is some beads that are beautiful copper tone. And I like to use the beads particularly for the journals that I've been making. They make great like bookmark things or closure um, decoration. And then I have these again. These are all beads. They are long beads that are really great for using with the journals or for making jewelry actually. Um, I actually do make jewelry. You guys haven't seen any of those videos, but like these earrings. Uh, I have made um, jewelry, and that's why I have a bunch of the beads. And then I have the um, little, little baby beads that go under the bead when you're making earrings. Um, then I have my pens. And I have a few of these like miscellaneous things that I haven't done anything with. A bunch of rocks and stones. This little jar was kind of cool. I can use it to send people things. And I actually dug up in this selection. I found a, a bunch of stuff that I want to mail off uh, like for swaps. So then uh, the two smaller items are in the desk drawer now. So let me just turn around in a way you can see. So putting it in the drawer, I was hoping to target things I use more. So I do do I do often do the jewelry making. So I put that in the side drawer. So here's the earring bags and the um, oops, the clasp for the excuse the shadow, the clasp for the back of the scrabbles. And there's a couple of these. I think they're called lobster hands or something like that. Um, paper clips and chip and um, 
these kind of things. These are all little closures that we use for earrings, for necklaces, for bracelets, for anything. Um, okay. These I use to hang off of mini books. And then um, Marion made this. And so I loved it so much. I've never used it. I just like to keep it. I think sometimes we hoard things. And then there's some flat charms in here that can go on cards. And so since I make cards mostly, I figured the things that are for cards should be in this drawer. I have my Builder Brad. The camera's giving the shadow. I have googly eyes in there. And dominoes. And so these are all things that I can use in embellishments. Um, the little baby brads are in here, even though all my brads are on my Stampin' Up! pegboard. Um, little embellishments like the, the flip-flops, flowers, uh, bows, some of these, which I like to fill with um, glassy effects and uh, a picture. And then you'll notice up at the top here there's some beads and some fragments. So these two are both in the drawer um, because I figure that they are things that I will have to access more often. So since these are things I will be using more often, I put them all in the drawer. Okay, well I just thought I'd share that with you. What I've found from this is that one, when you organize your your beads and your embellishments out into smaller units, you can see what you need more of and you can also kind of place them in a place where you can get your hands on them with the with the frequency that you would need. So if you use something more often it should be handier than something that you use rarely. So anyway, I wanted to share that. Have a great day. Bye bye.